Now, I introduced the notion of a cut. There's nothing special about a cut. It's just the separation of the vertices into two parts, called it a left part and a right part. And it's important that the source is part of the left part and the sink is part of the right part. Now, uh, I use the symbols left and right to be suggestive that in some sense left is over here and right is over here. But since you're working with data, those meanings are lost. It's just one set containing the source and another sink set containing T. They, left and right can visually be all messed up like this, just a subset. The capacity of the cut is the sum of all the capacities of edges which emanate in L and terminate in R. And I use this example, if you take the cut SEBC, and that's the four vertices which are visually the most left in this picture, and the remaining vertices are right, then you're adding up the edges which go from left to right, and that's 29, 15, and 89. And so the sum will be 123. And I point out that you don't add in that the two edges which are going backwards, the edges of size with capacities 15 and 18. Those are not included in the capacity of the cut. 